Now this is going to be fun. competed in some of the top independent promotions and, and from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. When it comes to WrestleMania, Bianca E. Torres. Don't get it twisted. Eve is more than looks. She holds a black... gentlemen huge title match coming up and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of wwe right now and guys if you're looking for fireworks on this fourth of july you came to the right place because this match will be Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title. And has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similar... Pumped about this one, guys. I can't wait. This is going to be unbelievable. Uh-oh. Not quite sure why she did that. Well, so close to this team. No, no, come on, ladies. Get it together. This tag team just dissolved before our very eyes. She's all on her own.
WrestleMania matches. This guy's a star. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, Randy Orton. The Viper won his first WWE championship at the age of 24. The youngest world champion in history. Such an accomplished career for this young man. But gentlemen, we know that the Viper is at his best when he hunts alone. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. is on the hunt. The following contest is an eight-man battle royal and is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger representing R.K. Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. You know, Randy Orton watched his father in the very first WrestleMania main event, and then he went on to main event multiple WrestleManias of his own. Now, this is a stage where he's faced the likes of The Undertaker, Triple H, and John Cena. We have seen Randy Orton go from being known as a legend killer to a legend. And we know Orton only needs three letters to create the ultimate WrestleMania moment. R-K-O. Such an impressive array of in-ring skills possessed by... Gentlemen, the choir has never been louder than on the grandest stage of them all. A man with no shortage of ego, but it gets even bigger come WrestleMania. Successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank in the main event of WrestleMania back in 2015. Yeah, Michael, but Seth has also seen his share of misfortune at WrestleMania, courtesy of Cody Rhodes. Yeah, but tonight the visionary turns that 155 pounds. The game. Triple H! Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. No, get up. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say something. Change the entire wrestling world. 
and is now ready to prove himself again in the WWE. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Yeah. Gentlemen, WrestleMania has just become undeniable. After six years away from WWE, made a show-stealing return and defeated Seth freaking Rollins. It was a heck of a debut, but Rhodes has his third snake and from victoria texas weighing in at 252 pounds stone cold steve austin we are looking at a man with no shortage of classic wrestlemania moments and battles you think about Shawn michaels think about bret hart and what about the rock well, let's not get carried away he was a great competitor but he was a terrible referee <laughs> I remember that, Michael. Animal has arrived. And from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the Animal WrestleMania is where Batista gets what he wants. Who could forget Batista's victory over Triple H for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 21. Unmatched power and intensity about to be unleashed by the animal on the grandest stage of them all. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. warrior on the battlefield at the showcase of the immortals who could forget that incredible moment for drew mcintyre when he won the wwe championship from brock lesnar in the main event of wrestlemania 36 something tells me the countdown to claymore has already begun the scottish oh! warrior prepared for battle
And introducing the champion from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, The Superstar. Remember guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? So much bad blood here. Wasted little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Here comes the street champion. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title. And has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, the Superstar. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, Solo Sikoa. Winning the United States Championship etches your name with legendary company.
the United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history dating back Let to... Let me stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Looks like he's ready to knock things out of the park here. Dangerous area inside the cell. Is there a special secret to winning a Hell in a Cell match? You have to be willing to leave your humanity behind. Become the most vicious possible version of yourself because that's what it takes to win inside Hell in a Cell. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more. 